All right, this is a two-step uh, metallic plaster finish. Um, first coat is nice and easy. Uh, we're just applying, going to roll on a generous application of the quartz stone. And in this case, this is quartz stone tinted to SW7604. Um, and uh, this we do want a nice heavy application for full coverage. Um, so you roll on a pretty, pretty thick slurry using a microfiber roller and then I'm going to do back trowel it while it's still wet you've got uh, you can wait 10 minutes or so but basically what you're trying to do is just create a, a semi smooth surface some soft pits are okay not a problem um, but generally speaking little ridges are good um, at least for this particular finish, we, we're going to go for subtle. If you wanted something, you know, very textural like that, you certainly could could create a nice physical texture as well. So just kind of a nice, soft, smooth pattern. Again, to get full coverage, some pits are good. So that's step one of that finish. Depending on humidity, that's going to take anywhere from two to three hours to dry. Um, then here we've got a board that's already done do a close-up of that so you can see again it's got the texture and the pits slight movement um, so now we're going to uh, this is completely dry and we're going to take um, the metallic glaze in this case this is a metallic glaze SW7673 in a pearl base and we're just gonna gonna float that on and then scrape it. So it's a very thin application. It is floated and then scraped. And you do have to work this um, corner to corner, but it's a good idea to keep a jagged edge as you go along, not to do, you wouldn't want to do straight across because you might get some striping. So you're kind of floating in smoothing and then the final step is just a, a scrape and that's the finish uh, that'll dry probably in a half hour or so but that's a close-up of that finish and that again is the coarse metallic plaster finish